Hi, welcome to Jay's Model World. Uh, this is my first episode, so bear with me as I start to learn some of this. Today we're going to be unboxing the Aoshima Brian James Trailer A4 Transporter. Uh, this is an imported kit, came from Japan, uh, bought from Amazon, but the first time I saw it was on Model Car Roundup. I saw it and thought I need to have one of those, so I put it on my Christmas list, and what do you know, it came. So today we're going to start by unboxing this kit. Uh, right now, as you see the box, it came this way. It was not wrapped in cellophane or shrink wrap. Uh, it came as an open box. So let's go ahead and dig in and see what we have. So after, pull so after pulling off the lid, you can see we have individually wrapped packages inside the box. This is the body of the trailer. You can see the ramps here, the center part of the trailer here, the other side of the ramp. I'm not going to open this whole kit yet, but we'll see these as we go through. And we see over here we've got the uh, wheel wells, we've got some rims here to go along with it, uh, the separate uh, tire holder if you build a racing version. There's also a clear sprue as well. All of this is molded in a light gray color, which ought to be good for painting. Um, ought to take the color really well. I plan to do this in an aluminum sort of a color with some gray and black touch-ups. We also have in the box here a set of four soft, pliable rubber tires. Should be able to see those. And some additional clear parts. Those are actually the uh, styrene um, locks, if you will, I guess, to hold the axles in place uh, when they're connected to the trailer itself. And we also have under the instructions here, we have a really nice decal kit. Uh, you can see here a really nice decal kit. Uh, it's got some European license plates. This is a UK spec trailer. Uh, it has the red trim for the sides as well as the, uh, see if we can focus in on them, the Brian James trailer logos as well as the A4 transporter model logos and some various bits and pieces on that package. Uh, I think this is just a piece of paper inside here, this brown, just to hold everything in place so you don't uh, get wrinkled up in transit. And then last but not least, we've got what looks to be an exceptionally detailed instruction kit. Uh, again, as I mentioned, this is an Aoshima kit. It is an import, uh, so there is uh, Japanese printing on it, if anybody knows Japanese. Uh, of course, it's all translated into English as well. Uh, it's a fairly simplistic kit, or simple kit, I should say, not simplistic by any means. Uh, it seems like it'll be very easy to put together come out the way we want it. Just a couple of steps to build the chassis. Then add the bits and pieces to the back of it. And you're done. I will note in the kit that they do call out the colors that you need. Black, red, silver, flat black, mahogany, clear red and clear orange. And those are the colors that they recommend painting the various bits and pieces uh, on the kit. Uh, I went to Hobby Lobby and picked up uh, what I could best get as an uh, approximation of those colors. We've got the um, translucent orange, translucent yellow, if you will, for the uh, marker lights. Uh, we've also got a translucent red, again, for the stop lights. Uh, we've got just plain old red. There are some trim pieces around the winch uh, on here that are recommended to be painted a red color. We've got a gold, which is actually the color of the winch itself. You can see $1.99 Hobby Lobby. And then last but not least, a flat black for all of the sundry bits and pieces uh, around the trailer, the wheel wells and whatnot. Uh, I also picked up a can of aluminum plate. Uh, this is a Model Master metalizer lacquer. You can see that. Uh, that will be for the main body of the trailer. And to set that off, I picked up the Model Master Navy Aggressor Gray, which is like a flat gray sort of color, uh, which I'll use for the center part of the trailer as well. So that's what we got. Uh, hope glad you uh, were able to listen and watch this. I'll put links to the trailer uh, down below. Uh, in the meantime, hope uh, you will come back and watch as I start to build the trailer. Thanks, everybody. Bye now.